In this lesson, I want to talk about truthy and falsy values in JavaScript. So we've already talked about using the if and else statements in conjunction with each other to control the flow of a program. But we know when we set up an if statement, we put a condition in there that evaluates to either true or false. But sometimes it's not that simple. So I want to set up a quick little example. I've already got a file called truthyfalsy.js open, and I'm just going to recap what we know, and then I'm going to expand on that. So let's say const number one is equal to three, and const number two is also equal to three. And for right now, I'm just going to set up a simple little if, and I'm going to say number one triple equals number two. And right now we know this condition is true. So the code inside of these curly braces is going to get run, right? Because three is equal to three in type and in value. So I'm just going to set up a console.log and let's just say something simple. So I'm gonna set up some back ticks and I'm going to say that my variable number one and I'll say is equal to my variable, let's say number two, put a period and a semicolon. And let's just run this real quick. We know that we'll get three is equal to three, right? Number one is three, number two is three. So you'd have three is equal to three. Let's pop open the terminal and run this. So we get three is equal to three, as expected. Now, let's continue and put an else in here. And I'm just going to copy this line real fast. And I'm going to paste that and get rid of that space. And I'll say is not equal to. And now if I change one of these, let's say I make it into 10, for example, well, three and 10 are not equal. So this condition is false. So we're going to see that the else is going to get executed and we'll see that number one is three. So three is not equal to number two is 10. So three is not equal to 10. So let's pop open the terminal again and let's run this. We get three is not equal to 10 as expected. So we understand this now, this is very, very simple. If we erase all of this and start with something fresh, what happens is if I get something like if, let's just say I put a string inside here for my condition. So hi, I am a string. And we'll just say inside my console.log, something like the condition is true, something like that. And then for my else, I'll just run something like console.log. I'll say the condition is false. Okay, so what do you expect to happen here? At this point, we've only put stuff in here that we know is gonna be true or false. Sometimes we type true in, sometimes we type false in, or we put a condition in there that is going to evaluate the true or false. But here I just have a string. So what's gonna happen here? Is JavaScript gonna break? Well, well, let's go ahead and run this real quick and see what goes on. So we clear this and run this and we get the condition is true. Okay, so why did that happen? Well, the reason it happens is JavaScript has a set of rules built in where if it's expecting a Boolean and you don't give it one, well, it considers certain values to be truthy and other values to be falsy. So if it's a truthy value, like a non-empty string like we have here, well, then what happens is JavaScript is going to coerce this to true when it expects a Boolean. If it's falsy, like in the case of, let's say, an empty string, that's one example, if we run this now, JavaScript is going to coerce this into a false, and so we get the condition is false. So there's not that many falsy values. Those are the ones you want to concentrate on because everything else is truthy. So let's pop this open. If you type falsy space MDN into Google, you'll pull up this page. And we see that a falsy value is a value that is considered false when encountered in a Boolean context. And again, JavaScript uses this type conversion to coerce any value to a Boolean in context that require it, such as conditionals, like we're working with here, and loops, which we'll get to in a few lessons. So you see that there are only eight falsy values as of right now. This can always change. But I would just concentrate on memorizing these, the false, zero, the negative zero. Don't worry about this one, the big int. We're not going to use that here, and it's unlikely you're going to use that in your projects at this point. The empty string, null, undefined, and not a number. Zero and negative zero, that's pretty easy to remember. So I would just consider that just to be zero. So just think about zero, the empty string, null, undefined, and not a number. Now, if you want to think about truthy, again, you can head over to that page by typing truthy space MDN into Google. You don't really need to memorize anything here because anything that's not falsy is going to be truthy, okay? So a truthy value is a value that is considered true when encountered in a Boolean context. All values are truthy unless they are defined as falsy, 
okay? So this is what you need to understand. So let's pop back over here and I'll just run through a few examples real fast. You can play around with this on your own. Let's just do undefined. So we know undefined is going to be coerced into a value of false. So you can pop this open, hit clear, and you can run this, you get the condition is false. You can also do this with a variable. So you can go up here and you can say, let my var, and we know that if we don't give it a value, it's considered undefined. So if I put this in here as my var, okay, what's gonna happen is JavaScript will coerce this into false. This will get skipped and the else will get run. So let's clear this and run this. We get the condition is false. Now this wouldn't be the most efficient way to check to see if this guy is undefined because you could have issues here. You could say set this to zero. So now it's not undefined. And what's gonna happen is JavaScript coerces zero into false, right? We already know that. So this is going to say the condition is false. So if I was trying to check to see if it was undefined, this wouldn't really be an efficient way. So we get the condition is false, okay? So let's go ahead and erase this. And let's change this up and see another example. Let's say I use a number that's not zero. Let's say I use something like 54 as an example. Well, a number that's not zero will be truthy because anything that's not falsy is truthy. So this guy is going to give me the condition is true. All right, so you can go through the rest of those on your own. If you ever get confused by this, one trick that you can use if you don't wanna just head over to, to the MDN falsy page, you can type console.log. Inside of your parentheses, you can do Boolean with a capital B and just type inside of these parentheses that you set up, whatever you wanna know if it's going to be true or false. So I could type, let's say 97 as a number. And I'm just gonna copy this and do a few examples real quick. So let's do two trues. So let's do something like the string 97 or could even do hi, I am a string again. And then let's do two kind of ones that'll be false. So let's do null and let's do not a number. So not a number, something like that. You can do all of these if you want on your own. So the first two are gonna be true and the second two are gonna be false. So let's pop these open clear, run, true, true, false, false.